Hey everybody, Kaiden here, and welcome back to another gaming video, and today we are back in War Thunder, and I decided it has been a pretty long while since we have done some air battles. We have been doing a lot of ground battles recently, so I thought it'd be fun if we go up and do a couple of our, not our arcade, air arcade battles. Uh, now, I am maining the Japanese for the uh, air arcade battles. Uh, I really do like to use... Um, you know, the Japanese aircraft, because I really want to research and grind out this whole entire uh, tech tree here. Uh, although I have started a little bit on China here. I played a little bit on China with the uh, 1.0, and it's been pretty fun. Although I think I am just going to try to stick to uh, grinding out the Japanese tech tree. So let's go ahead and head to battle. Alright everybody, so here we are, and it looks like this map is going to be the Vietnam map. Now this is really interesting, because I... Can't recall if I have ever played on this map before, so it is pretty interesting. We do have the uh, capable airfields here, so I'm not sure if I want to try to go for it. Why not? Let's just try to. Um, I am diving to gain some airspeed, and I'm going to cut the throttle. And hopefully we'll be the one who will be able to cap the point. We are going pretty fast here at 300 miles per hour, so way definitely over the landing speed and no flaps as well. Uh, so hopefully we do not tip and uh, hit our prop. And we've captured it. I'm not sure if I got it. Yeah, I did. Awesome. So me and this other person captured the airfield, which is nice. And that was just a quick little amount of uh, points there. So really awesome. Although I have learned that you really want to climb and pick off some of the bombers. So that cost us a little bit for uh, descending down. Uh, I have practiced a little bit, though, with Air Arcade. I've only played a couple of rounds, though, uh, off-camera before this throughout the week. Uh, but hopefully we'll be able to get a lot of kills, and I am feeling pretty confident because we did just snag a couple of easy points there. Um, I do want to be a little bit careful, though, because make sure there's going to be no fighters that are going to come up to get us, but I might try to aim for this... B-25 here, question mark. There is a bunch of other aircraft around that could definitely climb up for me, so I want to be a little bit careful there. But it looks like we are coming in range to this B-25 here. Let's see. just want to be very careful because we are pretty close to a bunch of people, and... Oh, and that was easy. Okay. <laughs> I just fired and went off of the target, and we got them. Very nice. So that was our first kill of the match. Um, I'm not sure if I want to wait around for a couple of more higher flying aircraft bombers. I'm pretty sure that's a bomber there, so I think we might head for that. So far, we're doing a sort of middle-ish top on the leaderboard. And look, there's two bombers for us to take down, so that should be pretty nice. I think I might head for this aircraft first, and it looks like we are coming in range pretty quickly. Got a hit, but nothing really more. And let's see. I think they now might be a little bit out of range for us. Oh, we got a hit on them. Let's see, is that a... Oh, there's that P-34. I guess we'll try to take down this B-34 as well. Over them. A critical. And I'm not sure what I hit. I hit one of his engines, which is nice. Got off the throttle. And he's on fire. So hopefully they'll be able to not be able to fly anymore, but it looks like they are still flying. There we go, another one down. And I think that other fighter that we hit before, I honestly don't know where they went. Oh, they're over there, and they're definitely going to get picked off by our team. But good one there. Doesn't look like there is any more bomber spawning in. Uh, I might try to go to cap one of the points here, but there is a lot of enemy fighters there. So I might just chill around at this altitude here, and if we really need the help... I'll probably try to go in, but for now, it doesn't look too safe to go in for that point, because, uh, enemy spawn. Okay, I just quickly reloaded there, 
And I have my MGs back. This A6M5 did look like it was trying to climb up a bit to me. So I want to be very careful because they're only like a mile away from us. Uh, but so far, nothing else coming in. Um, I might try to go down for this A6M5. I'm not too sure though. Now that we have our cannons reloaded. I think I'm going to head for the A6M5. This might be actually very risky. We have a lot of speed here. And yep, maybe this was a very bad idea, but oh well. I cannot aim. Yep, we are way too fast. And yes, this was actually a very bad idea. There's a lot of enemies behind us. Let's see, are they... Okay, yeah, they're sort of going away, but I don't know where that A6M5 went. I think they already took him down. Yeah, they already took the E6M5 down. How about my teammate here? Man, that did nothing. My bad. I'm gonna hit for the Spitfire first. Got a critical. And the Spitfire is gone. Where is that fire coming from? Oh, we got somebody on our tail here. P47. I am not sure if we'll be able to outmaneuver. Actually, yes. I think so. Got a hit. And they are gone. Is this XP 50 here. And I hopefully will be able to get them. Critical hit and another one down. So we are doing pretty decent here. We have. Uh, actually, I should probably pay attention. Make sure there's no enemies around. But we have. Uh, five kills here and we have capped one point so we're doing pretty decent which is good definitely a lot better uh, than some of my other rounds uh, but I think we should try to cap a point soon because we are about to lose that that p51 is gone awesome I think I'm just getting really lucky today and that a36 is gone um, why not this may probably end up in me dying, but I guess I will go ahead and try to land really quickly, because our gear is, come on, gear come down. Gear is mostly down now. And let's see, are we capping the point? Or do we actually have to be stationary? This is very risky, and oh, I hear, yep. And we are gone. <laughs> I kind of knew that was going to happen, but either way, we are finished with this match, and that was actually our first death trying to come in for this. Um, yeah, I'm not saving this at all. So that was pretty much GG, and we have lost the map. Not the map, the match here. Mission failed. Dang it. We got 7th place with 6 air targets destroyed, and as well as 1 point captured, which is pretty good. And I think in the next round, um, I think I'll... I am also going to try the same thing where I try to climb up as well and pick off some of the bombers. Uh, but we got 7th place with 6 air targets destroyed. Uh, so we did pretty good there. I think some of my shots were pretty lucky. So uh, most of it was the luck uh, today. Not really much of my skill. But GG's everybody. Let's go ahead and hop into the next round. Alright everybody, so here we are in the next match, and this is the Smolensk map, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, um, and this one also does have capturable A, B, and C point airfields, so let's go ahead and spawn in here, and it's only a 5 seconds, so that is not too bad, uh, I'm not sure if I want to go down for one of the points here, I think I'm just going to want to try to climb again, because yep, everybody's going to race down for that, and so yeah, we'll just keep on climbing here, um, I don't want to go directly head on. I think my plan is to go straight and then cut off whatever, you know, sort of bigger bombers or higher flying aircrafts uh, that'll be in the way here. And that'll be pretty much the whole plan. Um, although, if most of the enemies have captured the points, um, what do you call it? Like last map, then I might try to go down and help to cap the point because that is why we lost last round.
Alright, everybody, so it looks like after a good while, um, we finally have some sort of twin-engined or sort of like bomber type of aircraft spawn in here, this Air 2. Um, this is going to be a little bit risky because there is that P-51 that is pretty dang close, and we might actually run into them and that BF-109 there. But I think I'm going to go in for the risk, and I'm going to try to get this Air 2 here. Okay, be very careful of that P-51. hit and critical hit which is nice I think I hit something in their engine and we are on fire that is not good I'm gonna let off the throttle here and our engine might actually be doomed yes it is gone okay so that was apparently not a good idea that was my bad and we do not have any more engine power right now so uh, I guess there's nothing else to do than try to come in for the B points, and actually, there goes our gear. Uh, yep, we are pretty much dead here. <laughs> there we are, we are dead now. Anyways, that was very unlucky. I did, I'm not sure if I was the one who shot out that aileron on that AR-2 there, but, uh, anyways, very bad luck, so let's go ahead and spawn in on our E6M3, and hopefully we have better luck, because we actually have all three of the points captured. Which is nice, but we are sitting at the bottom of the leaderboard. Not good, so... Um... There is that PBJ and that Mosquito that spawned in, so I think I might try to... Climb up to get them. Hopefully, but it looks like they are descending a lot, so... I think... Everybody, when they spawn in the bombers, they just want to go in for the airfield. So... <laughs> um... I won't climb as much this time. Okay, so it looks like some of those uh, larger aircraft mixed in with some of the enemy fighters, so that is going to be very interesting. Um, if I could see what type of aircraft are around there, I'm not sure if I want to keep going in for like the higher bombers. Um, I think I might just try to pick off whatever aircraft that comes close. Yeah, that is a lot of enemies there. There's this ITP over here that I could go for. Alright, it looks like this ITP is actually coming for us. I'm gonna shoot some rounds off and then disengage. And hopefully they'll miss. Yep, they missed. And so now we are in a dogfight with them. So can I get over? Actually, I cannot aim today. There's also this A6M2 that has just joined in. Got a hit. We have a lot of airspeed right now. I don't want to pull too much G's. Unsuccessful. <laughs> okay, I'm going to back off a bit from the point. And oh my gosh, I am so dumb. Uh, there goes our wing. <laughs> Not good. I thought I had that in the bag, but as soon as they started descending... I got too much airspeed, and here we are now. Anyways, not doing too good in the second round. Now, we only got a score of 84 there. Um, but they are on fire, so I'm not sure if we'll get an assist for that, just because we got one singular hit. Uh, but let's go ahead and spawn in on the Key 43. And it looks like right now we are sort of at a neutral uh, point with the B points. We have captured uh, the A points, and as well as the enemy has the C point. I think that... 109 is going in for the C point, which is nice. Um, there's a bit of action going on over in the A point. I'm not sure if they're trying to cap that, but I think we hopefully will win. Um, yeah, we got rid of all those enemies at A, so if we can capture the C, which that 109 is doing. Very good job to them. And hold the B point then, but we should be good. Okay, so I think I'm we're gonna try to defend a bit more around uh, here on the A points because there's a lot of enemies that are trying to come in for the points. Let's see, I just stole my teammate's kill. That is sorry, <laughs> but we did get one kill, which is awesome. So we have one, but we're still sitting at the bottom of the leaderboard. Um, actually, I thought I saw a B-52 or something sort of head towards here, but. I think everybody's sort of rushing in for the B points, which we have already taken. So this should pretty much be a win for us. 
there's a lot of enemies there that are gonna come in. I don't want to get a get get caught in the middle of uh, them spawning in. All right, so it looks like the enemy has recapped the C points, which is uh, no big deal. I'm just a little bit concerned about some of these uh, fighters. I think they might be going back for our A point right here. I'm pretty sure that P47 is going in for it, so I'm going to try to intercept them. Or actually, I don't know what they're doing at all. Oh, they're trying to go for our ground targets, but I suck at aiming, so... And our teammate got them after wasting a bunch of rounds. I'll go ahead and reload because we're in a relatively safe area here. Only a 30 second reload, which is not too bad for the position we're in right now. Okay, and since we are pretty much about to win here, I think I'll just join in on the uh, <laughs> craziness right over here because we are sitting at the bottom of the leaderboard and I'm kind of hungry for kills at this stage in the match. Until our weapon is reloaded, which should be enough time. Only two more seconds. There's that P38 there. Oh, way off. And they are already gone. Excellent. And we pretty much have this in the back now. So GG's everybody. We have won, but we did not do too good as a individual player. We got 14th place. Yikes. And I think I only got one kill as well. Yep, I only got one air target destroyed and one assist. So that was not too good. Hopefully we don't get another one of the airfield maps again. Um, hopefully with more bombing targets so that more bombers will spawn in. Uh, but GG everybody to there. And also the nice thing is they do have a little bit of a sale on uh, Germany, Japan, and Italy. Which is uh, interesting. <laughs> uh, but anyways... Uh, as you can see, they have a bunch of sales on their, well, for researching on pretty much everything in the tech tree of the three countries that I'm pretty sure totally don't represent anything. Germany, Japan, and Italy. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, and looks like this is the Africa map, the Canyon Africa. So this is not too much of a bad map. Would have preferred something better though, but let's hope we can do pretty successful. I think that's not how grammar works. I think, I hope we can be successful, not do successful. Whoops. Okay, so unfortunately, it looks like there is a couple of bombers that are mixed in, uh, like that uh, JU-88 and that G4M1 there. Uh, but it does look like there's a couple of, uh, I'm not sure if they would be classified as bombers, but, uh, larger aircrafts that are coming down over here. So there's that B-25 that is being attacked. I think I'm going to join in on that as well. Got a hit, and we got an assist. Very nice. And then there is that A-26 there, which has gotten a good amount of distance. But I think I might try to play in this match a little bit uh, more defensively around here because I think there's going to be a lot of bombers that are going to want to come in. But there's a trail of teammates going for the same aircraft. So this will be interesting. Who will get the kill? Let's see. I think we'll go over this mountain here and then we should have range to shoot them. I got a critical on them and another assist. You love to see it. Uh, we do have two assists though, but we are sitting sort of at the top, probably just because it's early game. Um, so far, there's not a lot of bombers coming around here. I'm not sure about this JU-88 though, I think they're staying uh, relatively high altitude right now. So I think we might try to climb up just a bit more, uh, whether to decide to go down for any lower flying, like that PBJ over there, or go up for that JU-88. Okay, and I just realized there's an aircraft, because I was really blind, that there's an aircraft right here, this TBF, that is just overflying our airfield right there, so I might try to intercept this TBF, um, but I'm not sure if the anti-aircraft did something to him, because I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like a contrail, or if that's his engine smoking, but we are gaining a bit of altitude, I'm not sure. Okay, yep, I have no clue what they're doing. <laughs> 
tactical barrel roll, I guess. Okay, now they're turning right a little bit. And I think... I have no clue what they are doing. Oh, critical! And they are attacking back. And they are gone. Awesome. So that was our one kill, and they just completely rushed their tail. And oh. That is interesting. <laughs> okay, so I am climbing a bit right here to go for- Oh, that is not good. And that is nice. We are down. I was totally not paying attention there to my screen. So <laughs> I, I'm normally always looking around and stuff, uh, but I was looking out of my screen there. So I technically was a bit AFK. Uh, but GG's to the J2M2. We only got two assists and one air target destroyed with a score of 442. Um, so short-lived in the J2M2. But let's go ahead and spawn in on the A6M3. And this time I'll try to be a little bit more cautious of my surroundings so that was totally my bad wasn't paying attention oh my gosh i died again to the same person because same reason <laughs> um, my bad okay i'm gonna have to pay attention fully to the screen now so that is my bad um they are just chilling around our spawn yep that's the person who killed us but that was totally my bad um i wasn't paying attention both those times and we died to the same person twice. Um, yeah, they're just chilling above our spawn here, which I mean is sort of smart because uh, I am trying to climb a bit here, and that PV4Y there is really attempting to shoot, but there's that, um, I don't even know how to pronounce that, RE2001, that is right there, that is sitting there. Uh, so, hopefully they're not diving down for me. It looks like there is a P40 that's going for that bomber that I wanted to get, and then going to be attacked by the RE-2001, if I'm even pronouncing that correctly. Are they going to... This is not safe at all. Um, we are gaining a bit of distance from them. That PB4Y is ascending. Um, and dang it, there's that JU-88 that I wanted to shoot down, but... That... Or not... not I'm pointing out the wrong one. Oh, there we go. The JU-88 right there, but that's... Aircraft keeps shooting us down. It looks like there is an HE-111 here, so I might try to go for this HE-111. And no, I don't think I'll be able to protect the base there. Just too bad. But this HE-111 is about to die. Hopefully, if I can aim my shots... And, oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, yep, that was my bad. If I could aim my shots and we are dead. Anyways, not doing so good for us in this round. We only have one more fighter left. Well, I do have the backup on the G2M2, but I don't think I'm gonna use that. Uh, we have one last key 43 here, and I got a little bit too overconfident there. And that HE-111. So I'm not sure if I wanna head back for that HE-111 there. I'm not sure if they already shot them down. Oh, no, mind. Right there. I think that's RE aircraft right here that keeps shooting me down is still chilling around our spawn, and I think they are hitting a bit away, which is good. I think that other teammate aircraft will pretty much get the HE-111, but I think we'll still head for them. <laughs> yeah, that was my bad. That is embarrassing. I got shot out by their AI anti-aircraft, and actually here's a nice bomber that we will probably be able to shoot down, and yep, they are gone. Finally, we got something, and that is not a good number <laughs> for the amount of score we have, but we have two kills, and as well as, I'm pretty sure that's two assists there, which is awesome. But there's this GU-88 uh, over here that is climbing, so I'm going to try to climb up and intercept this aircraft here. I think they're just trying to go around and destroy our airbase. This is usually what I do on my last bomber, so we're going to try to intercept this airplane. It looks like this JU-88 does notice us here. And hopefully we won't be stupid, like this guy's name, straight stupid, and die to their AI 
anti-air. Unless if that HE 111 was manually using his anti-air. But either way, that is not good. I'm not sure if we have enough altitude and airspeed for this here. Hopefully we'll be able to get a couple of shots off. Got a critical and they are on fire on both engines. And there goes our bombs, dang it. And they are gone. Can I actually shoot the bombs? I honestly don't know. Probably not. They're too hard to hit. But either way, I got that H... Not HE 111. I got that G88 down it. Oh my gosh. I was not paying attention again. Whoops. <laughs> and we are dead by this BF 109. Uh, my bad. <laughs> uh, I got a little bit carried away there looking at the destroyed JU88 go down and we died to that 109 but we are spawned in here on the B17 um, I'm not sure where that 109 went because now I am oh boy that is no good and yep we did that is nice we got killed by the same person in a row because I literally was just at the altitude where the bomber spawn was at, and we are dead. No. Anyways, that was pretty much all of our aircraft there. I think we do have a reserve J2M2, but I don't exactly want to use that. Um, why not? I guess, I guess not. We'll just go ahead and use the uh, reserve here, the backup. And I think that 109 is still there. And is that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just that 109 there and that RE-2001. I honestly do not know how to avoid people around the spawns like this. Because we literally have no altitude here. And thankfully, they didn't just completely dive down for us. I think that... Never mind, I think that aircraft was going in for that person there, but I think they backed off. Anyways, we are losing, which is not good. And that 109, I think, is coming in for us. So I guess we'll just try to descend as well. Uh-oh, yep, they are definitely in firing range. So let's do some maneuvers. <laughs> and hopefully, they won't be able to hit us. I don't honestly don't know what I'm doing here. But yes, maneuver. We're pulling a lot of G's here. We're going 430 miles per hour, which is a little bit over speed. And actually, I think they backed off, and oh my gosh, we almost died by hitting the mountain there. Uh, but yes, we backed off, or they backed off, and I think they are chilling around at that altitude there. So we did technically evade them, which is good. Uh, but I think either way, we are about to lose here because we're about to run out of tickets, which is not good. Looks like there's a couple of enemies coming around over here. I'm not sure if I want to into a battle with them. Okay, so there's a lot of enemies there. So I don't think I want to engage in that because I'm pretty much dead. There's that B-17 there, which I'm hoping they'll try to come around for this little section here in which I'll be able to intercept them. Uh, but right now it's too risky to move in because there's a bunch of enemy fighters there. And I'm not sure what happens to that 109. Um, yeah, I don't know where that 109 went. Actually, oh. Is that them? I am not sure, honestly. I think that is, yeah, that is them. There's that 109. That B-17 is still sort of sitting around there, but pretty much since we have lost, there's nothing we can really do now, so that is too bad. Try to go in for one sneaky kill here, but we got a critical on them. And we are pulling a lot of G's and we failed. But we got 12th place, which is not good. Uh, we definitely underperformed on the team. Uh, let's go ahead and look at our results here. I do think we did get a couple of kills, but not as much as our first match. But I think I'll go ahead and play one more round here after this, and hopefully we'll have a little bit of a better luck. Um, but yep, we got 12th place with 3 enemy air targets destroyed, 2 assists, and didn't too, do too good. But we do have a battle trophy here, which is nice. And please, ah, uh, dang it. We got backup vehicles, which, I mean, is okay, I guess. But 
not what I really wanted. Anyways, uh, that is okay though. We did get it for free, so I can't really complain there. Let's go ahead and head to battle now. Alright everybody, so here we are in the next round, and this is the Fjords map. Um, I do like this map, which is nice uh, that we got this for our final round, so hopefully we'll be able to do a little bit better. So let's go ahead and spawn in on the J2M2 here. And I am honestly not sure if I want to climb up and go for bombers again, because uh, I feel like there's not going to be a whole lot of people. Actually, that is a lot of people on our team that spawned in as a bomber, so I guess we'll go ahead and climb here, and hopefully we can get something. Okay, everybody, so I think I'm going to try to descend on this P61 here. There's a couple bombers there um, that I think I might try to go for, but I'm going to descend on this P61 here and then try to go for those bombers. Looks like they shot down one of our teammates here, so hopefully I can get them. And just like that, they are gone. Awesome. Um, since there isn't really a lot of enemy fighters in the way, I think I'll go for this... Uh, actually, I'll go for... It's a hard choice. I'll go for this aircraft here first. The Sunderland, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Should be uh, hopefully pretty easy. We got a critical. Actually, this is a lot of anti-air, and we did like nothing to them. And don't collide, please. Okay, maybe this might be a little bit harder than I thought. That is no good. Send a little bit. They have a lot of waste gunners on that aircraft. And there we go. They are gone. Just had to shoot out their wing there. And actually, they are still fighting back, which is not good. Anyways, um, there is a B-26 over here that I'm going to head for. So far, we've already got two, which is awesome. Uh, but there's not really a bunch of enemy aircraft around this area anymore besides for this B-26 over here, which hopefully we'll be able to catch up to them. Looks like they're making a right turn here, so pretty sure we will be able to. Only about a mile and a half out. So they are turning onto us. I'm just going to fire off a couple shots there and then disengage from the targets. We're going to turn over them and they are gone. There goes that B-26. Awesome. Since there's not really a lot of people over here in the way, I'm going to go ahead and reload and climb up a bit more, and hopefully more people will come around this area. But that airbase that we have there is almost gone. And actually, this is a very, very short round. I think the enemy is almost out of tickets here. Look at that. It's just down to a little nub. Um, so this is a pretty quick match, but we did stay relatively a little bit high. I think we do actually have the most kills in our team. We have three right now, which is awesome. And just like that, we have won easily. Fifth place on our team with three air targets destroyed. Dang, that was a pretty quick match. Uh, but we did not end up on the bottom of the leaderboard this time, which is awesome. Uh, but that's pretty much going to have to wrap it up for this episode today. And also, I did notice one thing while I was in the queue while I was waiting. Um, in War Thunder, there's like a leveling system here, and I just got to level 36, and I just noticed this little, oh yeah, we got three air, tar air targets destroyed and fifth place on our team. Very awesome. Uh, but I did notice this while I was waiting here, that I am now level 36, so I guess my new rank is a major now. Um, I saw this little icon here, so I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, but very awesome. That's the last match was actually surprisingly really, really short but we didn't end up on the bottom of the leaderboard that time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, on our researching plane here for the A6M5, um, we did do a little bit to the uh, research points here, so hopefully we'll still be able to grind out these sort of sections of planes here. I think this is the thing that started taking me a little bit long since it's not like a singular plane to research. There's a couple to research um, within one of these sections here, like there's three different A6M5 variants I have to research. Uh, same with some other aircraft down here, but it's not too bad. And hopefully, 
we'll be able to get our first jet soon on the Japanese tech tree. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and if you did, be sure to give it a like. And also, if you want to see more videos like these, be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye!